Davis, we are indeed set for the main event. Errol Spence Jr., Terrence Crawford. Nuff said. And his opponent across the ring, the IBF, WBA, and WBC world champion fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white and red trim, hailing from Dallas, Texas. He weighed in at the Welterweight so World title appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the renowned, current, undefeated, reigning, and defending, unified WBC, WBA, and IBF Welterweight Champion of the World, introducing the truth, Errol Spence Jr. Introducing to you first the WBO World Champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gray and white trim, proudly representing his home of Omaha, Nebraska. He weighed in at 146 and three quarter pounds. The three division world champion is undefeated in his sensational career. Making his showtime debut and his 18th consecutive world title appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former WBO lightweight world champion, the former undisputed super lightweight world champion, and the current undefeated WBO welterweight champion of the world, introducing Terrence Bud Crawford. The bell and round one. And immediately, Crawford struck Emmanuel Lardy in October 2013 and an eighth-round knockout of Chris Terrence Crawford. Banders. The ability to make the adjustments on the incredible. Play. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know... It, when but it's the Spence uh, jab that's doing the... One of the effect. biggest physically imposing welterweight champions ever, but Crawford can turn it's a corner in Crawford. The jab, the shot to the body, there's a counter. The vacant ring welterweight title and become the only man mm. to be a two-division undisputed. More combinations except for Roman Gonzalez in the much more so than Crawford. 17 combination punches per round according to Sh Double jab, good combination. There's that hand speed and the combinations of Terrence those, Crawford. Uh, those shots from Crawford. Overhand left curls behind the guard of Crawford and then... I mean, doesn't do too much, but just enough, which is enough to... to Errol Spence, there's a Crawford that lands. Crawford tried a really nice common right hand a moment ago. He's going to... Explosive jab to, to the head and the body. And there's a combination that drops Errol Spence for the first time in his career. One hand speed. Seven, eight. It's Bud Crawford, an electrifying combination that drops Spence in round two. was able to land that straight left jab, which is Crawford. Crawford. Yeah, uh, Spence kind of overreached there with that, and, and Crawford saw the opportunity. And, it was, it was... and Spence Ooh. coming back. They have a second round knockdown with a jab from Terrence Crawford. Overhand left and landed There's on Crawford. another one, and now Spence going the, the Crawford fighting Ooh. back. Both of these guys are dogs in that Crawford. ring. Crawford. So Spence looking to get back into this fight after hitting the deck like the card Midway point of the third, stab jab to the body by Spence. Quick comedy. Let's he gives Spence the advantage. Spence lets off with when he can time. Beautiful combination there by Spence, but the counter and the speed of Crawford on display. The jab by Crawford again. That Right hand, the speed, the difference in hand speed. Sharp, accurate jab. Both in attendance here tonight. Two superb trainers. To their warriors. And this round, so and he started off really good with the jab. 
double, triple job, and body work. Nice fight. And he's picked his spots, and when he's done it, it's been great. Yeah, no doubt the pressure there is from Spence. The work from Crawford in the oh. opening. Oh. The left hand and the left uppercut by Crawford. The, the, the advice given to Spence. Oh, my oh, goodness. The left hand that rattled Spence for going to the body. And Terrence Crawford. And these landing is definitely hurting Errol Spence. And the, the advice given to Spence, you know, he's not turning. And he continues to jolt Errol Spence with the jab. Most people thought Spence might still be doing good work at this point. But Bud Crawford, who has already knocked down Errol Spence. An excellent round for Crawford, using the jab so effectively mm. and, and getting to a lead left hand that lands perfectly. Wow. Um, and I think get the right hand of Ayer, you see the left hand. Get about the head and squeeze your feet. And meanwhile, the countering accuracy of Terrence Crawford. This would be an evenly... It's astonishing that he's been able to be this effective this early in the Pressure fight. enough to get Crawford off that rhythm and that he's got going right, right hook and the right hand from Crawford. Every time he's met with highly effective counters. And now, with just over a minute left in the fifth, it is all Terrence Bud. He's punching less, he's landing a lot more. Terrence Crawford is landing 58% pound for pound, yeah. stalwart no less. And here comes... That was the kind of punch Spence was hoping for. It just didn't have the kind of impact. He was... You see the tech, you see no chuck. And he really hit me with a jab a lot of jab. You we'll see here, using the jab very effectively, that left hand did get in for Spence. Good fucking jab. What you want? Terrence backing up, and we don't normally see Earl no, Spence yeah. backing up. No, then is the Crawford pressure right now that he's putting. Crawford avoiding. Again, the reason why Crawford's jab is so effective and so hard is because the way he goes. You know, it, people may say, gosh, why is... No, right hook got, from Spence. Yeah, he's got to get inside. He can't reach. Oh, oh my God. Right there that Crawford has. You... You know, also had a power jab from Salt. But Sean Porter, he said that oh, when, when you take that. it away, and it seems like he's doing that against Spence right now. Right, wanted to feel the same way. Spence trying, coming back. See it? There it is there. Double jab. Terrence Bud Crawford looking to make history. Left uppercut on the inside. That caught Spence. Now here's where Spence was working downstairs, trying to get to the body. Trying. Here's where Terrence Crawford showed us in that last round. Initiating the offense with that shotgun will counter as Spence moves. Let's go. Come forward trying to deliver combinations and Crawford avoiding them. Beautiful to the face of Spence by Crawford and Crawford's accuracy just backing up Spence with these punishing shots. Exactly that, the accuracy, the reflexes. Farhood, Errol, Spence down. First round on its own official score. Oh. And again, the K.A. Walk over here. All right. To Terrence Bud Crawford making it look way too easy. The accuracy, the punishment. Spence continues to work. He has been stopped in his tracks repeatedly by 34 jabs, but only landed 28. So it has not been a weapon for him. coming forward and he gets countered with as beautiful a right uppercut as you can possibly. Right is usually the one that lands the most. Counter right uppercut. 
was perfect. I mean, the timing from, from Crawford is just phenomenal. I mean, that right hook that he's got. And now Spence is in a posture, yes. boxing, delivered punch after punch that lands all of these shots. It has the fourth. That jab wow. continues to pop. Spence's head back to right. And Crawford himself landing. Oh, oh my. by Crawford. And those punches caught by Crawford. Oh, oh, Terrence, but Crawford. Over the shoulder. Don't stand for him with his all the time. Well, Spence in a posture he's not used to. Backing up against the ropes, trying to move and stay. He's got to make sense of this fight right now. He's been hurt. He's the been intriguing thing is Crawford, who loves to come. A huge seventh round for Terrence Crawford, the two knock. Archer better be up. Yeah. Oh, he's opening up something right now, Crawford. Beautiful jab to the body. Continues to be a nightmare for Errol Spence. And again! I mean, the, the way he's being yeah. hit by the jab is incredible. This fight is very close to being over, I believe. Yeah. Spence is an overcut. Final minute of the ninth, Spence desperately trying to land some right hook. The left, the right, Errol Spence on inline skates. And the referee is entrance. Bud Crawford has made his disputed champion. And it was on the gloves. I mean, the way he dismantled him, the way he beat him up round after. Just brilliant performance from Errol Spence. Stage. He has never performed better than this, as great as many of his fights have been. So, pretty extraordinary, and that was what finally... He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. And now, the undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford!